My name's Travis, my pronouns are he, they, and I run a community-led healthcare resource for global majority trans people struggling to find information about transgender healthcare. And for this Pride Bite, I'm going to talk about being a trans parent and the importance of learning about different types of families. So growing up as a black queer kid, I knew the family that I wanted to create when I grew up would likely be very different to what I was used to seeing because there weren't many representations of mixed race or queer families in the media. Um, the idea that the family I'm in now could be a possibility wasn't even talked about in school. So I grew up during Section 28 it came into being in 1988 um, where it was illegal to promote homosexuality in local authorities and that included schools so being lgbtq plus was not talked about and looking back now i realize that the homophobic language in the playground uh, that i heard teachers probably felt like they couldn't step in which made me feel this sense of that being me was wrong as no adult or leader was there to say it wasn't. So I didn't learn or see or read about in books any representations of families, of the families that I knew would be like the one I wanted to create. So it felt like the future me as a parent not just didn't but also couldn't exist. Um, I couldn't even imagine that there would be the possibility that I could create and be part of a loving, safe family, existing as authentically as I needed to be as a trans dad, as I do now. Fast forward 15 years and Section 28 was finally repealed in 2003, and with the admission that it was there to stigmatise and demean 3 million people. Fast forward to now and me being a stepdad in a mixed heritage family. So my kid is li only little, but he understands that I'm trans, but this isn't an issue. He's more concerned about when I'll next go bike riding with him or when he'll get his next snack. As a family, we make sure we talk about how great it is that different types of families like ours exist. Um, and why it's important to support and uplift marginalised people. We do this through books and what we watch on TV and the community groups that we're part of, like Queer Parenting and Beyond the Mix, which is a space for mixed heritage families to connect. And all this is probably in direct defiance to what I didn't have but really needed to see in school. I connect with other parents in the park and at work talking about the same challenges and joys that we have through raising our kids, like from losing a tooth to the inevitable bedtime ways. I know if in school, if I was taught and saw that different families could exist, I would know, as I do now, that the future me could exist. Um, and knowing that is really important and such a beautiful feeling to have. Um, that families all look different, uh, but they can be queer, they can be trans parents like me, and that's all, all okay. Um, and it would be a beautiful feeling to have as a kid trying to figure out who you are in the world. Um, if you'd like to know more about what I do, follow at Black Trans Hub UK on Instagram, and you can check out the Black Trans Hub resource um, by going to Black Trans Hub um, dot co dot uk